I've noticed this, that, you know, this is just a thing with modern culture in general. Sometimes where there's not only just a piece of music, but just a scene from a movie or TV show that, mm. you know, when it first airs mm -hmm. is very hard hitting and is one of like the most culturally, let's say culturally impactful scenes that mm. have come out. Mm. Um, that's going to get memed on to the point where you don't, you start to not take it seriously anymore. Or you don't have that same emotional response you originally did when you first saw that thing. That was me with Unravel, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Th dude, that, <laughs> I hate the internet for ruining that song for me. I cannot listen to that song anymore. <laughs> uh, when I first watched Tokyo Ghoul, I was like, damn, TK, Nintoshite Shige. Shige. Fucking banger track, <laughs> amazing track, perfectly sets the tone for Tokyo Girl. Uh, now every time I hear I just, the chorus, I'm just like, I just love my that like, you could hand you could hand me a like a picture of a white background of like a blob slightly bent at the top to the right, and I think I would immediately recognize. It. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even need to see Kaneki's outline. No, I, no. You just show me a black line to, tilting slightly at the top, and I'd I play like, that song, and I'd be like, I, I know this room. Do you, do, you, do you know the one? Do you know one scene I despise the fact that has been ruined now? Because mm. I, it's it's one of my favorite scenes, but it is the One Piece is real. <laughs> when, God damn it! When when God when Whitebeard said it, it's such such it's an amazing. So powerful. It's so powerful. And now and now it's been forever ruined. Now and, it's been forever ruined. And God, now God every time, it. just can we get much higher? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, every iconic scene. That means it's a good. If it gets memed, that means it's a good scene. Yeah, yeah. That means it's it stayed in the in the in the brains of people, right? Yeah, but now That's why, like, every fucking Breaking Bad scene is still <laughs> memed to this day. But here's sure. is, have you ever like rewatched, not like watched for the first time, but rewatched a scene that you know has hit you originally, uh, but has been reinterpreted with like meme culture, mm. uh, and you just can't take it seriously anymore? Because I'm afraid to we rewatch One Piece because that scene was like so impactful for me. And now I know that when that scene comes along, I cannot see that scene without seeing Whitebeard's yeah. cock. Like <laughs> right there, like right there. It's just right there. It's just, just his fat fucking cock as he says it. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck you, I internet. feel I'm gonna have that if I ever rewatch Dragon Ball. Yeah. I'm gonna have that exact same experience of when I Can see you, the. Could you repeat that scene? You, you're gonna have to explain this to people who don't get that reference. The what? The fucking. The could you Goku, repeat that? Goku with his cock out. He, he has his cock out, but you can only see like the cut of like his. What is this even in reference to? It's when he turns Ultra Instinct. He, he, it's the first time he turns Ultra Instinct, and it's a powerful scene in the show. But now I can't, I can't see that scene anymore with just thinking of, could you repeat that? <laughs> fucking stupid. I had I had that exact same thing. I'm, I think I've talked about this on Trash Days before, but the first time I watched Invincible, yeah. uh, because I'd seen so many fucking memes about it, right? Like right. it was mean to the shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mark one and like, you know, pretty much all the scenes from the last episode. And I was like, all right, fine. You know, these memes have intrigued me. I'm gonna, and you know, you boys have been saying how good it was. So I'll give it a watch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I watched it and I got to that last episode and you know, the scenes of the fucking think Mark, think like that scene came up actually, and I'm like- It's actually think Mark, it's not a second thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. That's the Mandela effect. Yeah. Right that's the there. Mandela effect right there. But I got to that scene and I'm like, okay, I understand this is a very powerful scene, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But it's just been ruined yeah, for me because yeah. of all the memes. And I hate that. One of the shows, like the boys, the boys is so many memes. Mm. Oh like, yeah. Homelander. Oh still. yeah. The Homeland, yeah, the perfect. <laughs> Home Homelander rea reaction images are like all over the yeah, fucking Yeah, internet. exactly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering, cause I haven't rewatched Breaking Bad since it's oh had its like re-emergence of memes. I wonder what it would be like re-experiencing Breaking Bad I, now. I watched it like a year ago and it's it still holds up. I've, st it still holds I've still up. Doesn't never seen anything. it. Okay. I've you, still never seen it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Listen, you should know how good it is by the amount it still gets memed. But that's like the thing. That, that I should tell you how fucking good. But this see, show this is. is the problem. I'm just satisfied with the memes now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just like I, I. It's like I. I love all these memes, even if I've never seen the show, and it's just great. Like I, I'm just satisfied with the memes. Isn't I don't it, have to watch. Is it show. insane that it's still being memed? It, as much as it is, yeah. Now, this isn't like we've never yeah. had this in meme in meme history. We've mm. never had something meme this hard. Yeah, <laughs> like it's it's so it's true. Yeah, I that fucking image of Walter. Like it, they change all the time, but yeah. the one now where it's Walter in the car screaming no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I saw one where it was a cyberpunk post, and they were yeah. like. 
Uh, and the, the one of the links was like CP, and it was like, <laughs> there was the reaction, someone quote retweeted it with Walter screaming, no, don't abbreviate Cyberpunk to CP, no, don't do it. <laughs> That's so good. There's so many fucking good memes. Oh my God. <laughs> No, uh, so many good fucking Breaking Bad memes. They're so good. I know. Yeah. Well, I guess we're on the topic of memes. Mm. Uh, people need to stop fucking memeing films with cam rips. I, I, I don't know. Like they're like recently- You've seen this? Where? What, what do you mean? So I, 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 cause I'm really, really excited for to watch, uh, is it Enter the Spider-Verse or Into the Spider-Verse? Oh, no, the second Spider-Verse yeah. film. The, oh, the second yeah, Spider-Verse yeah, yeah. film. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of plot points of that have already been ruined for me because people have posted like cam rip memes. And for some reason, YouTube has decided it's a really nice, uh, it, it's, you know, I've obviously put interest in it. YouTube has just recommended me a bunch of shit. And I'm like, okay, I understand like memeing stuff, but like cam rips, really? Why yeah, are people cam watching cam, cam rips? Yeah. Come on, come on, man, come yeah. on guys, come on. <laughs> you know. No, that's not cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why a single person would ever watch a cam rip. <laughs> why would it's, you... it's actually unbearable. Yeah. Mm. I think I, I would rather, you're just ruining any film that you would want to watch. Mm. It's like, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I, but back in the day, I remember I, I used to when I was a kid. So oh yeah, because like, you didn't know any better. So I was right? like, man, I can watch the Miley Cyrus movie. Let's go. <laughs> <Okay>. In one week. <laughs> okay, Miley Cyrus though. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that was back when I think, you know, streaming even like 720p was like kind of crazy. Mm. Yeah. Knew everything was normally 480. And uh, like the four by three aspect ratio. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, you know, you'd get normally all the films would be ripped in 480p. And yeah. it was like, well, a cam rep, you may as well just throw another <laughs> wood in the fire. <laughs> you know, I don't know, it's, it's already shit. Yeah. yeah, and now we're like, yeah, now Apple has just announced uh, Apple Vision or whatever, right? Yeah, and, uh, I just- well, that was quite a while ago, but I mean, yeah, it looked fucking weird. Yeah, I just, oh, yeah. I just saw the Marcus Brownlee video on that uh, yesterday, finally, yeah. um, of him like reviewing it. And yeah. uh, I don't know, what do you boys think about it? Are, are we, okay, first, are we <laughs> sold on VR or AR yet? I don't know if I'm sold on it yet, you know? What do you mean? I don't know, cause, uh, uh, so I've been trying out like some VR, like a little bit more recently, not mm. too much, just like surface level stuff, you know, like stuff like VR chat and played around with that a bit. Mm. And I'm like, I don't know, I get it, but I cannot ever see myself committing to it. You mm. know, uh, it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> End uh, of the day, it's I, just uncomfortable. Right. I think um, it's hard to say because we don't know where it's gonna be in 10 years or true, 20 true. years. I mean, it looks promising. Uh, but it also looks dystopian as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of like a- It reminds me of when like Google Glass first came out. Yeah, um, I mean, it makes you realize how far ahead of the, the curve Google Glass was. Yeah. It's so far ahead of uh, what, what anything that it should have been. Mm. Yeah. Um, and it looked good. And you know, Apple are generally, I, I don't buy Apple products, yeah. um, but that, you know, they're pretty reliable with making pretty innovative stuff. Or yeah. it might be an expensive piece of tech that you're like, cool, this was fun. Never gonna use this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's three and a half grand. Like, yeah, yeah. No, but, the average person is not gonna be buying this. Okay, no. but here's here's the thing, right? Here's the thing because there there has been like a lot of it's let's say porn game. That's for sure. Oh I mean, God, I mean yeah. that I mean that already exists. You know, VR better, <laughs> better. <laughs> in 4K. <laughs> there, there is one use for the new app. You can spend three thousand five hundred dollars to watch porn in four like eight K. Porn porn people are great at adopting new technology. That that, yeah. that funny enough. They're the uh, biggest innovators uh, when it comes to like <laughs> digital media, I feel like. <laughs> if you wanna see what updates YouTube is gonna implement in like two years, just go into Pornhub and you're like, ah, Pornhub did this like two years ago, yeah. right? <laughs> they're, yeah. on, they're on that VR game before YouTube was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like there has, or like there's, there have been like tech in the past that has gotten a lot of hype that has just like for one reason or another, like never caught on, mm. right? Uh, I, I think like the one, uh, one that, comes off of the top of my head, uh, it's like segways, you know? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay, what's okay. the okay, okay, That's explain, the, I was not expecting explain, that. Yeah, that was, that was expecting 500. Explain your thought process. Explain my thought process. Yeah. Uh, you know, when, when the Segway got announced, there was a lot of hype that it was going to revolutionize street travel. You know, it's- What? Yeah, Americans yeah. Americans will literally do anything not to work. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then you know, look, look, uh, look where the segue got now. You know, it just turned out to be turned out to be uh, a, a failure of epic. Proportions. I mean, it, it killed its creator. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, mean, it, it, it killed its creator. He died from a. Segue. And you know, there was there's a there was a lot of hype around, let's say, e scooters, and you know, it's arguable whether they've taken on or you know whether i mean it's taken on more than the segway that's for sure it's, it has lot, taken on yeah. more i, I would I, you know I, I, th I think the form factor of the scooter helps a lot I mean, yeah. the segway isn't huge but when you think about storing the yeah. scooter is way more manageable yeah um, also there's just something about a segway for the longest time i looked at it and i'm just like you you just kind of look like a tool yeah. riding one. I, and I can't explain why. And it always comes back to everyone. Well, well, okay, it's, it's interesting though. Why, why do you think that? Do you think- It's because you're like T-posing basically. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look like a fucking idiot. It's <laughs> like, now I must go to work. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, you, you, you're essentially like T-posing and you're like, you look ridiculous. Yeah. Like when you ride a Segway, you look dumb. Yeah, I mean- You I, can't I, look cool riding a Segway. I, I yeah. totally agree with you um, because I do think you look dumb riding a Segway. Um, but you know, we've all ridden Segways, mm -hmm. actually pretty fun. Uh, surprisingly, yeah, actually super pretty fun. fun. Uh, but I'm wondering because my first experiences with something like a Segway was just seeing uh, seeing it in like dumb pieces of media, like mm. seeing it in a random YouTube video as mm. like a, you know, to, um, to parody like the nerd or something like that, or in, in like fucking Paul Mart or Paul, like the mall cop fucking movie yeah. that I can't mm. remember. Well, uh, Paul Blart, Paul Paul Blart Paul or something Paul. like that. And I'm yeah. like, okay, Segway, that's dumb. That's dumb and stupid, yeah. you know? Um, I think what was more dumb though, was like not even like those kinds of Segways with the handles, <laughs> but the ones that it's just the feet. Yeah. Oh, you know, you know those ones where you just like step on the it. And it's just the hoverboards things. Like, Which I don't know, what a shit name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's another one where I'm just like, it, you could be the the badass motherfucker with like infinite riz. You, yeah. Once you're on a hoverboard, you have lost all the riz. <laughs> you just look like a tool riding. Yeah. One. So, so the reason I bring these up, like yeah. like the hoverboard as well, which yeah. is just like you know, it, I feel like went and you know came it, and went. It, very it was kind of like a fad, a trend, yeah. you know. And I'm like, uh, both of these to me tried to solve a problem that didn't really exist, mm. you know? Yeah. It's, it's it, it, like Segway solved the problem of transport for, for whomst, you know? <laughs> well, you know, for who-, uh, who More cops, actually. Yeah, 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 more cops. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of realize after you, you know, you, you use a Segway, I would, and I, I guess the, the inherent ability that I guess Segway has above other, I guess, transport methods. Mm. Yeah. It indoors, it's pretty good in like spaces like malls. Mm. Or yeah, 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 and, yeah. But outside of that, it's, a bike. Golf courses, you know yeah. that that would be real, be really good for golf then courses. Golf carts, there are there's golf carts. You need to which carry, is, you need to carry your clubs. That's true. That's true. And then you kind of realize, oh wait, e-bikes are just better than segways because it's more stable. You yeah. can have a basket. You yeah. Can, you know they have. It's more, more natural as well. Yeah. 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 You sitting down, it's a lot more comfortable. Yeah. yeah. You kind of realize, and and there's a lot of infrastructure already for bike parking. Mm. Yeah. So you kind of like, oh, e-bikes are just. A better version, a of better version of, of yeah, uh, what yeah. Segways <laughs> tried to be, I guess. Yeah, e-bikes are good. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. we've ridden e-bikes. Um, you know, whenever I, I, I've ridden on my friends' e-bikes as well, they're very, very good. Yeah. Mm. Um, and uh, you know, okay. So I guess going back to like Apple Vision. Okay, looks wise. Looks ridiculous. All right, you uh <laughs> the fucking the fact that you can see the eyes on the other yeah. side just makes you look like a fucking cyborg. Yeah. Like I, I'm like, if Apple can't make it look cool. Ain't no one, there ain't no way anyone's gonna look yeah, cool they wearing VR. Yeah, the eyes thing. Yeah. It's yeah. so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's like, because it, the way that they do it is that like, it's not actually the eyes. It, it's not like a transparent screen where like you can just see the person's eyes. It's a reflection or I guess a, a, an image of what the inside camera views your eyes as. Yeah. That's been no, know, projected know, onto yeah. it. Yeah. So it just enlarges your eyes. So you just look like an insect. Yeah, oh, yeah. That sounds fun. And uh, you know, I you know the the biggest thing I thought, and uh, because I haven't tried out the Apple Vision yet, none mm. of us have, obviously. No. Only only Marcus has. Yeah, we are not. Uh, we, we we are not, not tech tech YouTubers. Experts. We would yeah. not be allowed to go. Yeah, that. No. but like, what uh, is like with AR and like, VR tech in general? Like, what uh, what problem are we trying to solve here? What well, are we? I, I think it's like trying to offer, especially with AR, it's like trying to offer more ways to interact with an environment, or like let's say. 
you had like, I don't know, you could, if you were like a 3D modeler or an architect, right? Like, it's like, oh, come, come, come to the architect office, put, put on these goggles, look right there, we've got this 3D design of this building. You can kind of interact with it. Mm. It gives you another layer of like kind of presenting. I'm sure that's what people said about- Yeah, but like, that's like, okay, what you described is such a specific well, that, situation, that, that, I mean, right? think about it with like a computer back in the day, they probably yeah. had the same argument where they're like, yeah, yeah. I, Adding up numbers? That's so specific. I'm not, I, I can add it just fine with the with the fucking bead thing. What are they called? The the what the abacus? Yeah, the abacus. Like we got our abacus right here, bro. We don't need that. Like I, I think it's again with technology like this, I think it's more about like uh, trying to find a use for it right away is not the correct way of looking at technology. Yeah. It's like let's make it. Let's make the tool. People will then, figure out how to I guarantee to like it. when it comes to the Apple Vision, it was probably just a bunch of like tech heads who like watched Iron Man and saw Jarvis and was just like, that looks cool. Yeah, but, like, that <laughs> yeah. looks, I want to I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think there is this like it's you know, it's also uh, presumably if if this does work because apparently it's just you click like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's way more accessible in terms of um technology than if, you know, what if you're a person who has very limited movement mm. in your hands for some reason? Yeah. You know, using a smartphone can be difficult. You know, people use you know, some people who are quite disabled have pens in their mouth or they have some other solution or text to speech, whatever. Yeah. You know, there's always more ways of of using technology, interacting with it. Also, uh I guess I mean the fact that you could just have a display that it's like your entire vision. Mm. Like if you could watch a movie in 4K, that sounds kind of sick. It's literally a HUD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it sounds like kind of cool. Display, like yeah. You just have your entire vision taken up for it. But again, yeah. it's like, how will it actually work in-, in I mean, for me, it's know. like mm. the comfort thing. Would I ever choose to watch a movie in like with a big fucking- Absolutely fucking heavy no, headset. Not want to. No. I think it's like the death of cinema. I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Way, would like would I ever choose to watch it? Probably not because even just playing around in VR for like a few hours, I'm like, I need to take this off. I'm like sweaty. I've tried, yeah, I've tried watching a movie on my VR headset. Cause I was like, I was just what curious. I was just curious. I was like, okay, like they fucking advertise that. Like you can watch movies in VR and it's like, you're actually in the cinema. I'm like, all right, let me try this. So I tried it with my VR headset. The, I, have, I have an Oculus too. So I tried it with the Oculus too. 30 minutes in, I'm just like, I can't see anything because the sweat is just like coming over my yeah, eyes and my yeah. eyes are just burning from <laughs> yeah. like staring at this yeah. screen that's yeah. right here. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be doing that. I think also as well, there's could be a benefit in, you know, obviously right now that price point is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But down the line, it'll probably get cheaper as as uh, new technology comes out. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. Like, if this could be like a all in one replacement for a, a PC, TV, phone even, mm. that could be quite promising. And it could give, you know, that technology could be more accessible to people and allow people to- I mean, to it's first it. generation tech, right? It so is, it's, it I is. I think right yeah. now it's more we so We have like, to kind of figure it out from there. I yeah. personally, it freaks me out and I'm not a big fan of it, but I think not, un uh, kind of being against the idea of progressing it is kind of um, I guess it's not helpful, right? And they'll say- Yeah, it's, it's not helpful, but I guess I guess to play devil's advocate yeah, as well. Fair, yeah, it's it's to play devil's advocate. Uh, like one thing that I've learned, I've come to despise within the past five years is the whole tech bro culture. You know, like bro, like adopting tech, yo, NFTs, oh, crypto. Nah. This is new but technology. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not about the tools, man. It's, it's not about a fad, mom, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, because, because of this, it's kind of like, Given me a more critical eye whenever a new piece of tech gets announced to be mm. like, do we actually need this? Well, yeah, because okay. it's like, you know, I- Is this gonna be a fad? Like, like kind of liking of tech in like 2018, 2019 was kind of like becoming kind of trendy. Mm. Yeah. You know, being up, up to date. Yeah. You know, and then NFTs came out and Bitcoin blew up and all that stuff. And I was like, oh man, we should go back to bullying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> NFTs made me actually think like, I actually, there are benefits to being Yeah, good. which is not to say that <laughs> Apple Vision is on I'm the kidding, same I'm level kidding, as kidding, NFTs yeah. or like fucking crypto or whatever. Um, but you know, it, it does make me think, could I ever see this, you know, I mean, Google Glasses, like you said, was way ahead of its time, but it mm. still did not take off, right? Well, no, cause or, it, was, yeah. it was shit. <laughs> and also, it was too ahead of its also time. Also like, uh, I, I think people just don't, want people walking around with cameras on their face the entire time. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think it you know, freaks people out. Like, you look uh, like, you look like a spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I know I do those IRL streams that so people just look when yeah. you use a camera. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm definitely not gonna be buying, buying the Vision Pro thing, no. but like, no. I am curious to see where this tech is gonna go. And again, with, with tech more often than not, the first one is always by far 
shit. Yeah. yeah. So just, just wait for it to Yeah, it'd be fascinating to see like how it's going to evolve in like the next five, 10 years, right? It's like foldable phones, right? Yeah. Mm. No one fucking knew the foldable phone. Mm. But they're like, oh, it sounds kind of cool. That's and, an option. And, and like, right. <laughs> Like the first two generations, I think were kind of, eh. and then I'm hoping third, fourth generation of foldable phones will actually be really good. Foldable smartphones? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, what did you think I meant? Uh, like regular, like, like regular, regular Motorola phones. Razor. <laughs> like. Sorry, um, that's the boomer in me that's, talking right that's now. That's flip phones. <laughs> These are foldable phones. It's different. It's okay, I still don't understand. We are not the same. Okay, I, I don't understand foldable phones though. I love the idea of having a phone and then being able to turn it into like a pseudo kind of tablet on the go. Cause I, I, I have an iPad, I don't use it. Mm. Um, I have not used it at once. Right. Cause I'm too lazy to carry it. Mm. Cause I'm just like, I'll just, I'm like, I'll just watch it on my phone. But I would love the idea of like, if I'm watching anime, I'm like, I'm like two of these. That'd be nice. What I can't get over, cause I've seen people, uh, I've seen a uh, Didas one. Yeah, Didas uh, one. I'm, I, and I'm, I'm like, I can't get over the crease. I, well, that's that's the idea, right? Is that yeah. hopefully in a generation or two, the crease will get better. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently you just live with it. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, you just live with it. Like, I guess, like, uh, like mesothemioma or whatever that is in America that every ad tells you about on TV. The what? What? You know, what? You know, <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, in America, when you put the TV on, it's like, have you or a loved one suffered from mesothelioma? <laughs> call, call the lawyer. Have you, have you just seen these ads? Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> every the drug goddamn, ads, right? And no, well, there's that too. Yeah. But every goddamn thing is like a lawyer ad. And it's like, yeah, it's like, have you or a loved one been affected by mesothemioma? Well, let, me, let, me, let me see what the actual I've word is. I've, I've never heard of that. Yes, you have. Before. Yes, you have. Mesothemioma? That doesn't even sound like, that sounds like a mythical creature. Mesothelioma, a type of cancer that develops in the lining that covers the outer surface. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what triggers it? Wait, asbestos. Hold on. Yeah, because a bunch of houses were built with asbestos. So oh, yeah. okay. So yeah, so if you have it, you should yeah. call a lawyer. And so don't wait, worry. what does that have I to mean, do with flip phones? <laughs> uh, what's the, what's what's the, the connection? <laughs> uh, what was yeah, it? Uh, actually, what did that have to do with flip phones? Uh, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember this thing I wanted to share with you guys, you know? Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> I, 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 don't know, I don't know where you're going with that. That is fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh no, because apparently you just live with it. 